It is a gorgeous Saturday morning here. About 10 a.m. Something happened to the bike. It's all torn up. So basically what I'm doing, really took the tank and all that off to get uh, this USB charger on there. The RAM mount, and just the ball. I switched this back and forth with my other bike. And then uh, I ordered, after much deliberation, I ordered the Tusk tra crash bars and I'm about halfway through uh, the installation. So far, uh, no major issues, just a little trouble getting that one bolt through on the uh, down tube. Other than that, uh, everything's good. Let's get it set up so I can go for a ride today. I got a long way to go. And uh, so back at it. All right, whilst I was wrenching away, the FedEx person driver showed up with center stand. It's a happy trail center stand. So while I'm at it, I guess I'll go ahead and add that on there. Um, it seems like everything, we can get a, a new bike, everything goes on it at once. All the accessories. But anyway, um, yeah, we'll get that done and uh, hopefully get out of here for a ride today. We'll see. All right, so at this point, um, I switched over to voiceover because the audio was pretty bad on this clip originally, but got the bike all buttoned back up. Got the Tusk crash bars back on. Uh, there is literally a metric ton of, of bolts to take off and on when you take this bike apart like that. Um, overall, not too difficult. Uh, there was a couple of little issues uh, with the crash bars like down here in the down tube area. Those four Allen, hole, Allen head bolts are a little bit uh, tough to get started. And then I had a little bit of trouble getting the down tube um, engine mount bolts through but they were not not nothing major um but the main problem was there in the front on the down tube frame bolts went in fine um i'll leave a link to the tusk bar, the tusk bars the usb charger right. and the ram ball mount that i put on so there she is uh crash bars on everything buttoned back up center stand on usb charger on and the ram mount it's been a long morning I only get to go out and ride but woof, I'm tired this is a pretty cool I've been down this bridge before but never stopped on it before anyway uh, it's probably gonna be it I'm pretty whooped I'm gonna go home and cook on the grill and chill out sit on the deck or something man it is it's been a long day and that bike all in pieces so anyway that's what the plan is all right up here turn around Gravel's loose or not. So, I'm gonna run it out here a little bit and then uh, head back. All right, so after a long day of wrenching. Uh, I decided not to go for too long a ride. It was a Saturday afternoon. It was getting a little long in the afternoon. Um, and I was a little sore, to be honest, from hunch, being hunched over all all day uh, working on the bike. So I decided to go back and, and uh, live to fight another day uh, and chill out the rest of the evening. But the uh, bike is, is well put together now. I know my way around it a lot better from having worked on it. The accessories that I have seem fine for the price. Uh, time will tell. And uh, like I said earlier, I'll leave it a, a link in the description of some of these things in case you're interested in checking them out. But I mean, most KLR owners are probably familiar with those parts. But 
I'll leave it anyway, um, just so you can take a look. If you're watching this, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope to have some more videos up soon. And that's all thanks, I have everybody. to say about that.